escalation first day guys i couldn't resist to go on emerald as soon as the update hit live and see how it went and the fight were crazy population was insane i thought the hamster would die honestly four continents open and the mad amount of action on all of them so on emerald i played tr and i joined the iodr just to see how it was to be in a big outfit and they didn't have time to craft the war assets of course after it just released but I could already see that the players were much more motivated to play together to conquer the map and get these freaking resources. No one knows the name of the resources, by the way. Everyone calls them the, the green, the blue, and the purple resources. We'll have to figure out what are the names. Poor Emerald Hamster. It worked hard and it survived. And I had a huge amount of fun fighting in massive scale fights like it's supposed to be in Plant Side 2. The amazing thing when four continents are open is that you can choose wherever you want to fight. So I went on Admiration Hassin mostly. And it's so refreshing to just choose your fight. On top of that there is a double XP going. And it feels so good when there is so many people to kill. I'm close to 10,000 certs on my TR. I'm grinding for ASP and I'm really close. Soon I'll be able to try the ASP Ambusher Loadout as a TR. With the uppercut and the Jackal as the SMG. So it's a perfect time to come back to this game if you have left it long ago because the fights are huge and all the outfits are getting organized to get the war assets. Everyone wants to capture bases because they bring you resources. We hit another peak of players, I think at 5,800. I'm not sure exactly, but it was huge. Right now the freaking ping at the warp gate is around 178. No, ping at West Pass is like 29,000. So amazing job RPG with this update that brought back so many people. So the big change on all the continents is that territory now grants you resources. One is common, one a little less, and one is very rare and you only get it by capturing the base that is in the middle of the map, which is very hard. So for now with my outfit I only crafted the light anvil and medium anvil. I noticed that it's gonna take quite some time to unlock what I want. The orbital strike, the citadel, they're gonna take a lot of dedication to unlock them and stack them. And I'm sure that with as much effort to craft them, outfits are going to be very careful on when they pull them. So they take the most advantage of their assets. The sanctuary is beautiful. And actually it's really relaxing to see players from all the factions. People that you're used to shoot at. Now you can just look at them. See how they react. So give it a look. It's very well designed. You can change your loadout at the bottom level. And you can warp to other continents on the top level by interacting with the big globe. Apparently there is a new ritual for players in the sanctuary since we cannot communicate yet. People ask for a magic and run around in circles to say how much they appreciate this place. I found this really cute. The first Bastion Fleet Kyra has already been pulled now by the Guardian Shield on Emerald. Thanks Archie for the news. <laughs> NC for the win. Congrats guys. Must have taken a lot of dedication and knowledge to get this as fast only one day after the update hit live. I can't wait to see the first ones on my server and participate in the big battles that they create. I don't know yet if they're OP or if they're easy to take down. Honestly, I'll have to see this on live and I'll let you know. I took the liberty of farming some resources tonight. Nice, we have uh, Anvil. Now, now uh, Jamor has already spent them all uh, by uh, making some assets. I told him to spend it making heavy anvils so that we can spawn Sunderers wherever we like. That seems like the most useful thing. Yeah, I want to farm the Orbital Strike. It's expensive! Uh, yeah, um, we, we need to... If, we, uh, if you want the Orbital Strike, you need that uh, purple resource and that takes... Ages to get. We're currently farming resources with my outfit to be able to craft the war assets, the orbital strike, the citadel shield, and the heavy anvil to drop sunders behind enemy lines. I cannot wait to see how all of this is gonna play out in live. So get in the game, take advantage of the double XP, and you're gonna have a blast. Of course, there's a few bugs that came with the update, but that was expected. The most annoying is that you cannot see the capture progression on your HUD. You have to check it on the big map M. There's a few other bugs here and there, but nothing game breaking. Performance is still great, but I had a few lag spikes on Emerald. Sometimes when the ping went over 1000, but it didn't last long and it stayed stable after that, which is pretty impressive with all the population that was on the server that day. 
it was amazing to see all these streams about Planetside 2 on Twitch. There was almost 1000 viewers for this game. Winter Gaming brought his army from StarCraft. Some old faces of Planetside 2 came back to check it out, like Zoran the Bear and Yamix, which is really pleasant and it brings me memories. So I think the hype operation worked. The game is getting a lot of attention and I think it's mostly due to the community who has been sharing content about the game, posting videos and talking about the updates. Right now there is a big race between outfits in all servers to get the war assets as fast as possible to get an edge on the battlefield so there is a lot of discussions on how to get the resources faster and I'll try to cover this in the future as soon as I have more information from the live servers the double XP is extremely enjoyable I've been racking up certs at an incredible speed with all the action on Emerald I don't have boosts or a membership but still go was getting a huge bag of points at each kill which made, it, which made it so addictive I couldn't stop so I'm extremely happy that the game is coming back to life, even stronger. Some said that what is dead may never die. People predicted the death of this game so many times that it has developed a really thick skin. It just don't want to die. It's too freaking fun. I had a blast here at Hate Skydock, camping the high ground, popping heads from long range, and farming certs. Emerald has a really healthy population, and I start to think that I should squad lead on the, the server to have more impact because the TR is not very organized I noticed compared to the VS and NC they get dominated at, at almost each alert but yesterday I didn't feel that too much and I think it's because I could choose the continent I wanted to fight on here the situation was pretty terrible on Indar but when I switched to Hasin everything seemed more balanced so it's really true what Rel was saying about the, about the population being able to fix most of the problems Thanks by the way for the overwhelmingly good feedback on the real interview. I think we are extremely lucky to have him that committed to our favorite game. So thank you again Rel for the amazing interview and thanks to the whole Rogue Planet games for this massive update. Feedback from the players has been amazing. Many veterans are teaching new players how to play the game, report bugs, try to contribute to the promotion of this game. So it's beautiful to see a community as badass as the Planet Statue community. Keep it up, Planet Man. Have a good day. Stay epic. Bye bye, guys. It's kind of stiff and in a certain height. Ah, that sucks, man. But I guess it's normal. Kind of has to be that way. Yeah, it has a lot of guns, right? Basically, it has like six Liberator guns underneath or something like that. Got a max. Here I am, man. TR Ponyo and Mokas are on top of the leaderboard. We might actually get this now. <laughs> nice one. Oh, nice. BHO uh, will probably get it though, because they could be farming. really are uh, manning. They're zerging as usual. I'm trying to farm kills. Oh, oh no. BHO. Uh, but look, uh, if you we'll open try. up your uh, tab, uh, you can see what you get. You still get merit points and you still get loyalty points to your outfit. I'm not entirely sure it. what you can use those for yet. Uh, in the in the sanctuary. Yeah, I've been to sanctuary briefly, but uh, they had to reset those servers, so they kicked me out. Yeah, if we get uh, high amounts of uh, green resources, that is probably the best way to go. Uh, but if we are farming uh, the blue stuff, that is actually very easy if you know how. Uh, you know those open air bases, uh, which you can cap with vehicles. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. They give plus three blue resources, and uh, if you're just the first one to cap them, well, uh, that's how I got a lot of resources for the outfit. Ah, yeah, and they cap in one minute. Yep, yeah, that's right. Just cool. uh, cap that, set up a stealth sunder and hair one, and uh, just recapped it constantly. <laughs> Sneaky bastard. Okay. Yeah, what, what was I to, supposed to do? None of you bastards were online. Emerald was, was crazy. crazy. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! They were nuts, these Americans. All right, good work, guys. That's why I gave us the cap. Good shit. Push them out. Push them out of the base. You guys did a hell of a job saving this cap, man. They, they didn't have a chance. We didn't come. I think you should be able to place it. Uh, either way, if you're not squad leader, man. 
But you got lead now. Yeah, actually, I, I, so I can disable the other beacon so no one can place anyone. Beacon is up. You can drop at the jump pad. And slingshot. Are we gonna go lock on? No, just slingshot at the, the landing pad, see for the, the enemies. I got three. See for the max. You got him? Nope, max up. Nice. Nice one. Oh, we're capping this base. Mani Fortress. Yeah, we have 70% pop. 80% pop. Uh, if we can uh, get high on the scoreboard, then uh, we uh, get the cap, you know? And the points. Uh, you get the uh, loyalty rank... Uh, I'm, I'm loyalty rank 3 to this outfit already. And you get the uh, loyalty and merit just for uh, supporting a cap. Miss any on the waypoint. If you can slingshot, kill it. Sunday down. Nice. Maggie got wrecked! Nice, you yeah, saved me guys. Very nice. <laughs> Pick up! Sandy clocked. GTA 4 Nice! Got the mercy. Nice one. I expect to see that in a YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, right? Maybe. <laughs> you need two or three like that. So let's go get them. <laughs> this base is really annoying. I'm, I'm trying to kill the ant. Visual on a mosquito. Do you have eyes on the end? Lightning spotted. Oh yeah, let's kill lightning. Lightning is bastard. Wreck. Let's have to kill the end from long range. Another lightning to the southeast. Go. We're chasing. Visual on hostile vehicle. That's the ant. Harasser, the bounty. The smoking harasser here. Ah, uh, movie chase. Watch out the lip. I gave birth to your whole style and fail. How do it fail? Shredding me. Now fuck you, pain. Reps. There's tanks to the south. We're yeah, gonna go I kill really them. I really wanted to get the YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs>